Do you um, use social media? Do you use Facebook? I do. Yeah. When I, when I'm not in jail. When you're not in jail? That's right. You get put in Facebook jail? Very often. For years, Facebook and other social media platforms have been trying to deal with their misinformation problem. It's not hard to find false or misleading stuff about vaccines, COVID-19, or the presidential election. If you see a label on Facebook that marks something as false, do you believe those fact checkers? No. But why not? Because it's Mark Zuckerberg. They're controlling the whole narrative. To try and curb the spread of misinformation, Facebook has hired fact checkers who research and label false and misleading posts. Have you ever been fact checked? Oh, lots of times. Really? Yes. And people who repeatedly share misinformation or break Facebook's rules can have their accounts restricted. That's known to some as Facebook jail. When you get that notification from Facebook that says, your post is false, how does that feel? Excuse my language, pisses me off. We have every right to post whatever we want, and I don't like being censored. I first met Mary Quintanella at CPAC in Texas. I've had some notifications with regards to maybe some of the COVID issues. So they'll say that's, you know, fat checked and may not be accurate. And I just say, okay, and then I still post it. Yeah. You do? Yeah. She's a Trump supporter and skeptical of most fact checks she sees online. There's a video that Eric Trump retweeted a few days after the election that purported to show Trump ballots being set on fire. Oh, I've seen that video. That's false. The election officials who control in, in Virginia, those set of ballots said they're not real ballots. That was fact-checked at the time. Is that not a, a good service, that, that something like that gets, when it's no. shown to be false? No. You think, no? No. Why not? Because why can't somebody say, I, how do we know that's real? Aren't we smart enough to say, whose video is this? Who, who videotaped that and how do we know it's real? It's okay to share it, but, but give, it us, because, give us more credit yeah. to say, see, when I seen that video and I don't know but anything like about fade, Eric, that Eric, fade, Eric, that Eric. That into the idea. That video played into the idea on election week that there was all this mass fraud. It no, played into the no, idea. No, 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 no. Mary is a Facebook power user. She has 3,000 friends on the platform, most she has never met in real life. But like other conservatives and Trump supporters, Mary believes Facebook fact checkers are biased against her. Over the years, I've been put in Facebook jail at least a dozen times. When you're scrolling through your feed, are you often seeing these labels? Yeah, yeah, lots. And I click on it and it says, see why? And it's always interesting to me, like what are they saying that we can't see? Cause it has it blacked out. Facebook has like a dark shade on it and it says misinformation. And it has a little area where it says, see why. So see why it's false. Yeah. So you click that. Yeah. And you read the fact check. Yeah. And it's more baloney. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, for the most part, not everything, but it's kind of like the same old, same old. I mean, no offense to Facebook, because I know they're doing what they feel is proper to serve their community as best they can. The problem is, is that you have people like myself who don't agree with their fat checking. Their fat checkers are going to be biased. That's the problem. We're biased against false claims. We fact check false claims by supporters of Bernie Sanders or Joe Biden or Vice President Harris. I understand why they have the perception though. It is because the majority of the content that gets fact checked tends to be created by those on what they may consider the conservative side. Alan Duke is a former CNN digital reporter and now the editor-in-chief of Lead Stories, one of the fact checking organizations that works with Facebook. On the right, they're just more prolific at it, better at creating content that goes viral. Whether it's content that's true or not, it's shared more, it's consumed more. Those are things that put them in our target, not because of some supporting of a certain agenda. It's all about, is it true? Is it false? Is it spreading? Can it cause some harm, some chaos? Those are the factors. So this is one, false information. The same information was checked in another post by independent fact checkers. Fact check, unmasked video does not uncover the truth about the 2020 presidential election. All have been investigated and disproven. Well, how, how, how do we know? Really, the audit is showing that they are actually so imitation ballots? With, the, with this video that you shared, right? 
that yes. the fact checkers are saying is false. Yes. I mean, I know in that. And I know. I, think, I know in that one paragraph. Yeah. You probably disagree with every single. No, thing. we're going to disagree with the fact checkers of Facebook mm. because they already have a, their narrative set up with but their they, fact they checkers. This, they write in this piece. They go through every. No, not necessarily. They go through, they go I mean, through it all. What 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 the problem is? Fast Facebook is working way too hard to try to disprove issues that are going to be debatable by professionals on both sides. Facebook says all of its fact checkers are nonpartisan and go through a rigorous certification process. Facebook is a place where you share information and you can uh, kind of pick and choose which information you think is good and which information you think is not so great. And based on the, all that combined, you know, you're going to have basically your own fact checking. Hmm. Okay. But your if there's own so much information, are you sort of cherry picking your facts? You there? could. I mean, whose reality is is important, but your own reality. But shouldn't we have a shared understanding of? You can't do it. It's impossible. It's impossible because of the bias.